Hello everyone and welcome back into my kitchen. Today we're going to make some delicious hors d'oeuvres. They're going to be pleasing to the palate and to the eye. Let's go. All right guys, so here is how I'm preparing my bread for our little uh, hors d'oeuvre sandwiches. I have some wheat bread and some white bread. You can use uh, white and pumpernickel. You can use um, potato bread, anything you want. The only reason I'm using um, these two is because I wanted a little difference in contrast of the color. So I cut off the edges and then gently run my knife down the middle and then turn it again and do the same thing. Oops. Do the same thing here. So we can have these little shapes, okay? Okay, we can also make shapes like this. And I just found, actually this had toothpicks in it. <laughs> and I took the toothpicks out and that's when I'm, of course, cleaned it. And that's what I'm using to make my circles. And I'm also going to do the same thing to um, my wheat bread. And it's great because you can use this to differentiate between what's in the sandwich. So that's fantastic. All right, I'll be back. All right, guys, so I've done my prep. Let me show you here. Let me tell you what I have here. I have some peppered salami. I'll show you what we're going to do with that. Also, I have peppered salami cut into the rectangular shape of these. I have some chicken breast that I cut into discs to match my bread back here. And I showed you how I, how I achieved the round shape with this thing. Um, we don't want them too big because they're hors d'oeuvres, okay? I have here some little tomatoes, some lettuce, um, and these are just some slivers of mozzarella. And I'm gonna be using two different um, spreads today. The first one I'll be using is this alouette. I hope that's the way to say it. It's uh, garlic herb. That's what's gonna be put in one set of them and in the other set I'll put pesto. All right, let's get going. All right, I'm gonna take some bread. I'm gonna put some of my dressing here. And I'm going to grab a piece of my peppered, um, peppered salami. All right, use another piece of bread. And then a little more of this. I'm gonna go in with some cheese. And then let's, here's a tomato that I cut a sliver out of. If you can see that. And I'm just gonna take one of my cheeses here and just jam that in there. Get it in properly. Gonna put my toothpick. I got the fancy schmancy sword kind. And how about a piece of lettuce? Put the lettuce here. And then we're gonna go in with our sword. Look at that. Okay. Um let me do another one so you can see. I mean, you can mix it up any which way you want to. You put that on the bottom. I'm gonna put the cheese. And I can put the ham, the, not the ham, ham, what is it, salami, right in there with it. Put that here and then do the same thing with the um, with the tomato, if I can, sheesh, I don't even know if I can think. Come on, Sandy. Let's get this in here. And let's go again for a little piece of lettuce. Put it here. And on we go with that. That can be a very big one bite. All right. Let's get set up to do some of the 
chicken ones. All right, I have my pesto here. I'm gonna go really light on the pesto because that's pretty, a pretty strong ingredient. Let me put some cheese, a little more pesto, one of our chicken pieces. Um, oops, oops, that one come apart. Okay, I'm going to go for cheddar this time. And top it off with... Um, one of these, and oh, I forgot an ingredient. All right, <laughs> I have forgotten my olives. Okay, we're going on top with our lettuce here again for a pop of color. And I'm using black olives. I think it gives a really nice contrast. Look at that. All right, let's make another one. Mix it up, do it however you want to. You can use only, um, oh, look at that. I messed up and I put this on there. All right, we'll go with that. Um, and let me get bread. And after the bread, let's put our chicken. And let's get our lettuce on here. And for this one, I'll go with a tomato. Why not? To get my little cheese in there. Look at that. Okay. All right, let me make another chicken. This time I'm gonna make it with white bread only. And I'll mix up the cheeses. There's our chicken. Let me try to bring it closer so you can see better. Pesto. And let's go with brown. I said I was using white. All right. And let's go with cheddar. A little more of that. What do you think? Another layer of bread? Okay. Another layer of bread. This is a tall one. Let me get a sword. Come on. Those two don't, they're, they're in an entanglement. They don't want to be disturbed. So let's use this. We get an olive. There we go. Look at that. All right, I'll make a few more of this and then we have one more to do. All right, so here's what we're going to do. I have a tortilla here and I'm just, I'm trying to make it into sort of a square shape. And all those scraps we use, guys, don't throw them away. I remember when I was a kid and my mom would be making something like this. We would be there standing waiting to take the scraps. And my mom would let us put some of the sauce on it. And yeah. All right. Let me make some cuts this way. Throw this one up. All right. So here's what we're gonna do. Let me take some of my, my uh, I don't know what to call it, spread. That's a good name, a good word. Put some of my spread on here. That will act as my glue. And here is my uh, peppered salami. What you wanna do is, overlap them if you can see this let me try to bring you close 
All right, let's try this again. So you overlap them. Okay, let's put one more. Overlap it like so. Okay, and I have a black olive here. Gonna put it here in the middle and we're gonna roll. Okay, and what I'm gonna do is put a little toothpick in here so people can grab it. And how about some greenery? Come on, greenery, cooperate. We'll put greenery on the side to make it look kind of cute. That's a big one. There. Okay, let's do another one. All right, let's go ahead again with our salami. You can use ham, you can use turkey, whatever you like. Lay them overlapping. All right, and get our olive, put them in the middle, and roll. Get my sword, stick it in here, and put a piece of this on the side. So one biter, all right? You can even do this with a regular tortilla. Let me grab one. All right, so I have it ready, and I'm gonna put my olive. I'm gonna use one hand so I don't get in the way of you seeing. Look at that. Boop! Okay, let's get our sword. Keep everybody in place. And how about a piece of lettuce this time? Let's see if the lettuce will work. Yeah, lettuce doesn't work as well as a leaf. Okay, all right, I'll make some more of these and get it all plated up so you can see. All right, guys. Look at these. Your friends are gonna be so impressed. Let me tell ya. Man, I hope you guys make these. They're so easy to make and your kids can help. It's a great family activity. Guys, man, as you can see, I'm having a fantastic time. I hope you guys have a blast this holiday season. Enjoy it with your family and come back next time because you know I'll be making another delicious recipe. Bye.